the IHTN studios. It's Braves Beat. Good morning, Indian Hill, and welcome to Braves Beat. I'm Lauren Banatsky, and this is my womb mate, Evan. <laughs> 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 Thanks, sister. Let's get started with some school updates. This is just a friendly reminder that Spear Week is right around the corner. The theme of the homecoming dance is decades, so get groovy with it. Make sure to stay posted on more info and be ready to show your school spirit. Now, let's check in with Marianne Miller to see the new initiation members of Braves Beat. Hi, I'm Marianne Miller, and welcome to Braves Beat Rush. These are some potential pledges today. So, Alex, describe yourself in three words. Fun, energetic, and nice. Okay. Why do you think you're Braves Beat material? Um, well, I really like talking to people, and I love working with other people at school. Are you a good person? Yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Austin, describe yourself in five words. Um, I'm fun. Uh, I like sports. That's five words. Do you actually play sports? Yes, I do. What do you play? Play basketball, lacrosse, and soccer. Are you good? Yeah. I'm very good. Like, really good. <laughs> well, why are you smart? Um, if you could be any animal, what would you be and why? Probably a polar bear. Please demonstrate what a polar bear does. No. Do you want to be on Brave Speed? Yeah. Then demonstrate. No. This is just ridiculous. Next contestant, let's go. So I'm here with Braves Beat Pledges Tommy Logeman and Katie Lehman, and uh, we're going to have a race. So three, two, one, go. <laughs> hey, look, I'm here with our victor, uh, Tommy Logeman. Congrats, Tommy. Now, uh, are you uh, great at editing videos like your older brother? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not quite as good as him. So uh, what, what are some of your skills? Uh, I'm a pretty good chef. Oh, sick, dude. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, you should go down to Gourmet Cuisine and never come back. Hello, I'm Evan Clark and I'm here with pledge number 43, Drew Rice. It's mighty toasty in here, isn't it? It's great, I like it. Good, because you're about to get branded. Bend over. Uh. Welcome to Braze Beat. Oh, what rookies. <laughs> <laughs> we have some exciting basketball games coming up. Next Friday, January 24th, is Slam Dunk for LLS Night. Come out at 6.30 for a silent auction, a raffle, and vendors. All proceeds will benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Don't forget to show your spirit with a superhero-themed costume. Come out to show your support for the varsity basketball team and Slam Dunk for LLS. Here's Jason Littman and Matt Thompson with a ZSPN report. ZSPN reporter Jason Littman here. I like sports. This is Matt Thompson, and I guess I like sports too. Winter sports season has been rolling on by. Now over to field reporter Mallory Chadwick with head wrestling coach, Coach Iger. Here with Mr. Iger or Coach Iger, how's your wrestling season going? Uh, the wrestling season's going really well. Um, we're a young team, but the kids are getting a lot better throughout the season, so we're looking forward to CHLs in a couple weeks. Thanks, Mallory. Good luck to the wrestling team in the CHL tournament. In other news, the boys' basketball team is continuing their quest towards the national championship. This past weekend, the Braves showed their bright potential in a dominating effort over an elite Reading squad. However, unfortunately, Saturday's game finished with an upset as Taft had to come from behind to win in overtime. The Braves' bad luck streak continued through this past Tuesday as Hughes came out on top in what was a fierce battle of two great offenses. Indian Hills' offense has been an integral part of this season's success thus far. Their high-octane, high-46, silver-under-attack offense has blown out opponents such as Deer Park, Reading, and even Wyoming. Check out starting center Lucas Gould as he slams down a dunk that was an instant ESP ZSPN classic. Wow, I know if I was Sam Freyer, I would be trembling watching that play. The boys take on Madeira tonight, so make sure to come out, be loud, and be a part of this unparalleled run toward a national title. In other basketball news, the Indian Hill Intramural Village Championship Basketball Series kicked off yesterday as teams battled for the coveted Village Championship. 
The reigning village champions, the Fighting Cacti, led by senior captain and shooting guard JT Meert, are seen as the favorites to take the title again this year. Good luck to all intramural teams this season. Back to you, Evan. Thanks, guys. What a great week to be a Brave. The mock trial team made its first debut at the UC mock trial and brought home tremendous results. They placed both first and third overall and won six of eight available awards. So far, their record is 4-0 and and the wins just keep on coming. Be sure to congratulate the members on an outstanding job next time you see them. Attention juniors and seniors who need community service. If you missed the Key Club meeting on Wednesday, there was info given about a 12 white hour event on February 7th, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. at the Xavier Cintas Center. Six to 15 of your friends can compete in competitions throughout the night while raising money for pediatric cancer, cancer research. Contact Ms. Silvius, Sarah Alzubi, Grace McCormick, or log on to nightforthefight.org to register for a team. Before we go, we'd like to remind you to like our Braves Beat Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And don't forget to come to the Hoops for Haiti game tonight at home against Madeira. The theme is beachy tropical, so dress up and show your support for the Haiti Water Project. Have a wonderful weekend, Braves. And as always, stay classy, Indian Hill. It's going down.